Uh, well, good morning, folks. It's Wednesday. You know what that means. Welcome along to episode number... Off the top of my head, I can't remember it. I don't remember what number it is. I think it's 25. No, it's 26. Of our F1 manager. I knew what it was. Don't at me. I was testing you all. I was testing you all, and everyone will be like, yeah, okay, you keep telling yourself that. Anyway, let's have a look at the uh, championship, shall we? And uh, Red Bull lead the way, followed by Ferrari, Mercedes, Alfa Romeo, Alfa Tauri, McLaren, Alpine in P7. And then Haas, Williams, and Aston Martin bringing up the rear. Yep, bringing up the rear. Will they be doing that all season? Who knows? In the Drivers' Championship, Max Verstappen won the opener, and then followed by Carlos Sainz, Sergio Perez, Lewis Hamilton, Charles Leclerc, Valtteri Bottas, Alex Albon, Lando Norris, George Russell, and Pierre Gasly with a solitary point, but uh, we will take that solitary point. So anyway, we'll go get uh, we'll go take practice, and then uh, we'll be back for qualifying for the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Hopefully, a car doesn't crash this time, unlike last year. Isn't that right, Fernando? Really Okie dokie then. Q1 oh, at Q1. Jeddah. And tough, quali tough practice. Tough, tough, tough practice. The one thing that uh, Lola, I swear to God, me and you are going to have a falling out in a second. Alright? Stop making a mess up there. Honestly, I don't know what is wrong with this cat recently. She's always meowing a lot. She's always after attention all the time. I really don't know what he's up with her. Uh, she's broke. We're going to have to get a new cat. <laughs> Take it back, refund. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Don't do that. Don't do that. <clears throat> so let's see how uh, we are after the uh, first section. Uh, Gasly only just slower than George Russell. That's nice to see. Ocon only just uh, behind him. And then here comes a Ferrari. And no doubt here comes uh, the, uh, there's Verstappen, Verstappen, you, oh my god, you absolute animal, Vax Verstappen. <sighs> I know my friend Shut Your Gob says everyone loves a cheat code, but Max Verstappen, he's acting like a walking cheat code at the moment. Uh, what is this madness? He's almost eight tenths faster than sights. There's no way in hell that that car that he's driving is eight tenths faster than the Ferrari. There's just no way. Well, Fairly now it's default, six please. tenths. I mean, what what do we need to say? That that car just feels like a walking cheat code at the moment. It's ridiculous. Oh, unbelievable. Anyway, we lose Guan Yu Zhou, Nicholas Latifi, Hollywood Land Stroll, Yuki Sonoda, and Mick Schumacher from that session. I think we're going to be saying their names uh, quite a lot when it comes to Q3 eliminations. Alright then, on to Q2. On to Q2, ladies and gentlemen, and on to the next one. On to the next one. On to the, on to the, on to the next one. It's what we love to hear and look what we uh, love to see as well. So let's uh, hopefully get the old set of tyres on. Yep, and then let's... Uh... You can hear us. Let me see if this microphone can pick her up. Hold on a second, folks. Well, let me just uh, transfer you over to Lola a second. <laughs> can you hear a little snoring oh she's so adorable but such a pain in the ass when she is anyway the gas man uh, goes p3 Ocon goes p4 stuff you love to see that and you do love to see that <laughs> uh oh we say alonso wow alonso p15 it's things you also love to see that's what happens when you betray the team Fernando, that's what happens when you betray the team. You end up P15. Nah. I didn't do a. Did I do a song the last couple of races? I probably did. I haven't. Uh, I've only recorded the prelim and the uh, outro parts. I haven't recorded the main uh, crux of it yet. The race. That'll probably be uh, tomorrow. 
like with uh, all my races, that'll remind me I've got to do uh, that then, haven't I? Right, I send out the gas man. Ocon's already uh, gone out, the gas man uh, going out right now. P5 and P... Uh, where's he on? P5 and P6. I've got a feeling that's not very representative. Because I think uh, I think those Mercedes are sandbagging. Just a little bit. Only only slightly. Only slightly. See, there you go. I told you the Mercedes were sandbagging. And now Ocon's on the bubble. As uh, he comes to the line. Yep, we know. We Stop telling us we need to read pit for fuel. Ocon improves to P9. Where does Gasly improve to as he comes down to the, the uh, back? the main line he approves to P6 good good it's all about what happens with uh, Vettel and Magnus oh no I think they've uh, finished their laps haven't they yes brilliant so we're through which is good Fernando gets through as well uh, so we lose Sebastian Vettel Alex Albon Kevin Magnussen Lando Norris and Daniel Ricciardo I think that that uh, is more than adequate then all right then, Q3. Q3 session, and already we got uh, cars uh, going out and uh, having a word. Let's see. If we, we can get a P6 and a P8, I'll take that. But it's going to be tough. It's going to be very, very tough. Right, let's go see what they do on their penultimate laps. Everybody's out on the track, aren't they? Uh, yep, I think everyone's out on the track. Even uh, Verstappen's got... Ocon's got Verstappen in front of him, so he can use him as a, a bit of a toe. Uh, so P6 and P9 at the moment. Hamilton's only just in front of uh, Gasly. That will be very encouraging. Let's get the new super sticky sock set on that uh, we've got left we do love super sticky soft sets that that's easy for me to say <laughs> that's easy for me to say and that's easy for me to manage as well all right then so right let's send out Ocon and then wait till he gets to the end of the pit lane and send out Gasly there you go perfect right Oh, Gasly may have just got in the way of Perez. May have, he may uh, may not have. Right, on board. Well, not on board quite with Ocon. Through this really fast sequence of corners, it's just corner after corner all taken at high speed. Things you absolutely love to see as he goes yellow in the first sector. Meanwhile, oh my God, there's a Red Bull in the way. That's going to be a yellow, isn't it? Yeah. Ah! ah! Although he only needs about six ten, six hundredths improvement to be in front of Hamilton. Alonso has finished his lap. That's fine. Ocon goes green in the second sector. What does Gasly do? He goes green in the second sector as well. Coming up to the final corner, turn 27. In we go. Ooh, you had a few attempts at getting a nose in there, didn't you, Esteban? Now, can you beat Bottas? Shut up about refueling, man. Can you beat Bottas? No is the answer, but can Gasly, who's gone green in the middle, can he beat Hamilton? No. Useful. All right, then, but it's P6 and P9. That is a, a result I will uh, definitely take there. Verstappen, once again, Max Verstappen, the walking cheat code, will be on pole position. Oh, but I tell you what, we're close to these Mercedes. I think we can uh, have a darn good fight with these Mercs if uh, they give us a chance. Like clear skies tonight, with the drivers now in their grid positions. And there we have Pierre Gasly. They might not be in the top three spots, but things could change fast once the race gets underway. And here's the second Alpine. They're in the front half of the pack, 
so there's plenty of potential for them. Will their hard work pay off today? It's almost time for the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. It's lights out and away we go. Uh, away we go is right here in the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Hopefully we can uh, get a decent finish. I mean, we start, what, P6 and P9. So that's uh, something or it's down to P7 at the moment because uh, George Russell is uh, playing ultimate try-hard mode. Oh, look at that. Look at that wheel as they head to it. That looks so gorgeous. All reminds me of uh, Singapore. I think uh, Gaz yeah, Gasly's got back uh, in front of George Russell. That's uh, what we're talking about. What they're going to do when the man comes around. I haven't a clue what they're going to do. Yep, we saw Gasly overtake Russell. We don't need to uh, see any more. What I've, you'll also uh, notice is I've put a lot more fuel in the car. That's going to allow me to uh, run higher fuel mix for a lot longer. Although that does um, have its disadvantage because it does it can uh, damage the engine a little bit. But uh, it, when, we'll we'll cross those bridges when we come to it. That's uh, that's our idea. We'll cross all of those bridges when we come to it. It's not it's not as if that uh, anything's gone wrong at the moment. We've got the two Ferraris fighting each other. Already the Red Bulls. Th this is frightening. <laughs> this this is absolutely frightening pace from the Red Bulls already. They are two tenths apart, but they are a second and a half ahead of Charles Leclerc and Carlos Sainz. That that's frightening. We, I don't know if we're going to win anything this season, but my God, that is absolutely frightening to say the least. We've got, oh, we've got two cars out. We've got Alonso overtaking um, Ocon. That's down into uh, the first corner. Sorry, last corner, I should say, turn 27. And straight down. I'm hoping that Ocon comes uh, straight back. Nope, uh, Alonso's got that position. Ocon, we need to see some improvement from you um, this race, please. Need to see some uh, massive improvement. Now, I did see also that two cars have crashed. I want to know uh, who those two cars are. Well, one of them looks like uh, George Russell. Uh, yeah, it's George Russell and Valtteri Bottas. And... Boop. Oops. That's a, that's a bit of a boo-boo there for uh, George. Right, lap six. Russell's change. overtaken Ocon. But we don't need to worry now, about Russell because Mercedes he's got a penalty. He's got a penalty for being a bit of a naughty boy for booping into um, our mate... Uh, what's his face? What's his face again? Bottas. So I, I knew his name, oh. don't at me. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh yeah, of course you knew his name. Ian. Yeah, I knew his name. Don't at me. All right, lap seven. It's like Gasly and Sainz are having a, a good fight with each other. The former teammates at, uh, well, what was Toro Rosso. It's now Alpha Tauri. Side by side through turn 26. There's so many corners in this uh, circuit. It's unreal. I hope he gets um, a makeover like uh, Singapore gets. He looks smug, doesn't he? I like him. I like him a lot for smugness. It's a race right, lap nine, Hamilton's past the uh, Gasly. Look it looks now, like this, this looks like our Lewis fight. Hamilton this uh, this race with Gasly, the we're gonna fight be fighting Hamilton and these two Ferraris. The Red Bulls just seem to be out of the picture, Goodness but Ocon me. seems to be uh, intent go. on fighting Moving Alonso the and um, company back there. Is it was it Alonso, Russell, and, and Magnussen? Really I want to say Magnussen. That's no, it's Albon. Gasly's over. Did he overtake two take cars now. here? No, he okay. overtook Hamilton. So we have the LP. He overtook Hamilton. This, this is what we're paying him the big money for. What are you going to do when the man comes around? <laughs> what are you going to do when the man comes around? You're all going to do nothing. Loved it. Nothing, I tell you. <laughs> Alright, that 13. Leclerc has overtaken the man. Okay, here's the Ferrari. Is Carlos Sainz going to overtake the man as well? I think he might try to. But that's what happens when you're susceptible to DRS down the main street. You want to be the guy following. You don't want to be the guy leading. Because you just have no answer. Really 
no answer at all. I've got to uh, change the um, set them back too badly. channel on my uh, laptop while I'm talking here. Looks like uh, Leclerc and Gasly are still fighting each other. So Sainz are oh, getting involved in now. Leclerc has overtaken uh, Gasly again. Watch this. This could be into uh, through turn 26 down to turn 27. It certainly looks like it, folks. It absolutely looks like it. Oh. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. There's a long way in this race to go yet. Long, long way. All right, lap 15. Who's this uh, okay, passing along? So Ocon's passed along, so great. Through turn 20... No, not turn 26, sorry. Jesus Christ, that's down to... Turn 23? Yeah, turn 23, Jesus. You don't see many passes into turn 23. You definitely uh, don't see many passes into turn 23. But uh, there you go. Like Alright, lap 16, Alonso's, uh, Alonso and Ocon are going to fight each other to the death. This, this is going to be into turn Alonso's 23 gone. again. Ooh, swoops around the outside, still going. Still going through 24, through 25. I mean, Jesus Christ, there's 27 corners and on this uh, track. It's hard to keep up. It's hard to keep up a lot of the time, but uh, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> don't worry, Ocon. We'll, we'll get him back, don't you worry. We'll see. Okay, lap 17. Oc Here we go Let's again. Knock on the Alonso. Okay. Into turn so 23. <laughs> it just seems to be constant back and forth into turn 23 and 24. And then uh, through 25 down to 26. It's, it's just constant. A position there. But we okay, love it. So As says George. Uh, keep, we, we don't that worry about George Russell moment. at the moment. George the Russell's uh, really got a five second penalty for being a naughty boy for booping uh, Bottas. Right, lap 18, Russell, Russell's now passed Ocon. Now but uh, is Here's that because... Oh, no. Uh, uh, so Alonso's lost two positions there out of nowhere. But I would say let um, let Russell leave this train. Just let him leave there. the train there, uh, Ocon. So we, can, uh, we can follow him very nicely. Oh, and the team had such high hopes today. What a shame. We can follow him nicely and he'll drag us along. He's our horse. All right, lap 22. Uh, Gasly into the pits. The man has arrived into the pits. That's what we uh, love to see. Can we, lift and coast? can we do some lift and coast with Ocon? Yes, I think we can. I want to see what... Uh, there we go, he's off. So Verstappen has already gone through. Verstappen's uh, like the walking cheat code at the moment. I think uh, Carlos Sainz has gone through as well. Yes, he's gone through as well. Where is Carlos Sainz? I'm trying to see him on the mini-map. Uh, I don't see him. He can't be that far ahead, surely. Can he? Well, there's Ocon. No, that's uh, that's Gasly. So where where's um, Carlos Sainz? Okay, that's 24. We've got a lock-up here from Sonoda. Nope, that is a lock-up from Magnussen, sorry. And we'll be seeing you there, Kevin. We'll be seeing you. Lap 25. It seems like Sainz has got past Ocon. So we found where Carlos Sainz is. He's disappeared. He's disappeared up the road. And that's still your, that was through turn 26. So if Gasly catches up to Ocon, we're going to need Ocon to get out of the way. We're going, we're going to need Ocon to get out of the way and massively. Really and we need him to get out of the way chance. pretty darn quick. Alright, Ocon's got out of the way for Gasly. Tyres have gone, says uh, Let's take a Ocon as uh, Latifi Let's locks look. up uh, going Nicholas into Latifi. turn 27. And that could be costly. Yeah, just, just chill there for a bit, why not? Chill there, you had, you had plenty of gap. You could have gone then. The team are really <sighs> yeah, I'd, I'd be looking at Let's that uh, too and shaking my head too. like that as well. Why did we hire this clown? Somebody's saying. All right, lap 34, Magnuson now locks up. So the Haas team got two clowns now. That's into turn 27 again. <laughs> turn 27 does not do the Haas cars any favours, does it? It's really, really not doing them any favours whatsoever, that corner. 
All right, that's 39. Ocon passed Alonso. So Ocon has made okay. his stop. He's so onto the mediums. The so th this is this is where he needs to now get on with it because he's on a better tire than these guys in front of him. So he can uh, he can do some damage now with these medium tires. He's got better grip in the corners than they have on their hards. They have some worn hard outs. Right, that 40 Ocon's overtaken Russell now. Now have a watch of this. That's into Looks turn like 27 Ocon. again. Great move. Love your move. He's going to have DRS as well. That's what I'm talking about. That right there is what we're talking about. Now get away that, from them. The get away from them and push like a stabbed whatever. Stabbed rat? Stabbed rat? Stabbed whatever? I don't know. We'll go, uh, we'll go with that. Meanwhile, Gasly and Hamilton are having a great scrap. We've got yellow flags out there. It's a race position game. Hamilton's overtake and Let's Gasly now watch this. into turn 27. Hamilton I think Alonso's in... in uh, is that Alonso? No, that's Claire, sorry. I'm getting my uh, F122 career uh, mixed up a little bit here. And there they go, but uh, the it's fine. It's fine. We're going to pick up some uh, decent points this this uh, Grand Prix. Very well, decent points. Don't let we'll anyone see. tell you otherwise. Oh, we're going to see this live. Are we? No, we're not. Ricardo Let's runs wide in turn 16. Is this turn 16? I don't know. Wide, and I, can I, I really struggle off. with the corner numbers at Saudi Arabia because there are so many of them. <clears throat> and it looks like Leclerc has got Gasly. Oh, so if they start to pull away, it's going to be P6. But that's an improvement already on what we did um, in Bahrain. And I think Bahrain is actually a quicker... Well, this is the quickest track, but I think this is a quicker track than Bahrain. So um, somebody's going to tell me how that uh, that works. Because not even I know how that works uh, around here for this uh, game. Was that a lock up that 47 Vettel we locks up. Then we need to turn. Oh, the turn at the bottom of the court. Yes, Ooh, almost. You're going to come straight back onto the track? Yep. He's got a clear gap. He's straight back onto the track. And that nice to see some things don't change in, a, in an Alpha Tower. He does it there, uh, Sebastian. No. <laughs> All right, final lap of the Grand Prix. Another driver's cross line. Who, is, who do we think it is, uh, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah, that's right. Uh, the walking cheat code. Max Verstappen wins the Grand Prix. Max Verstappen. <laughs> Let's have a look. The walking winner. cheat code. Max Verstappen. That's two for two. He wins the, uh, the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. There's Perez in the background. It's a Red Bull 1-2. And I think the nearest car was another 30 seconds back. That, I think you've all got to agree, that's frightening. That's, that's just simply frightening. Yeah, look at that. Carlos Sainz is 26 seconds behind Perez. He's 32 behind Verstappen. That's frightening. That is frightening. In, in anyone's language, that is frightening. But it's going to be a P6 for Gasly. I say we take that. I say I say that's a that's a that's a great result there for uh, Gasly. Great result there. Uh, good good job. Uh, good job, Pierre. Good job. The man has come around, and the man is uh, repaid already as Ocon finishes P7. That's uh, that's also a good finish there for uh, Ocon, finishing ahead of Mercedes as well, and about ten seconds ahead of a Mercedes as well. So. Uh, both strategies really paid off there in the end. That's uh, that's the kind of stuff we love seeing. The old strategy noodle is uh, starting to come into play. It's what we like. It's what we enjoy. Well, this weekend, Pierre Gasly flew us to the stars. I imagine everyone at Alpine will be very satisfied with their performance today. Absolutely. I imagine it will be pats on the back all round, and deservedly so. And after this result, the team is fourth in the constructor standings. 
and for the next round, Formula One is heading down under. Exciting times ahead in Australia on the shores of the Albert Park Lake. Uh, so it's Australia next. Okay, then. So Max Verstappen, of the walking cheat code, wins the uh, Saudi Arabia Grand Prix from Sergio Perez. Carlos signs your podium. Then Lewis Hamilton, Charles Leclerc, Pierre Gasly, Esteban Ocon, George Russell, Fernando Alonso, and Sebastian Vettel gets a point for the Alpha Tauri team. Loving, uh, loving the work out there. Loving the work uh, with the Alpine boys. Max, uh, two victories out of two. Sergio Perez, two fastest laps out of two. What more do you need to say to that? Gasly up to P6, Ocon up to P9 in the championship. And uh, we move up to P4 in the standings behind Mercedes. All in all, I think we can uh, we can say that that is, uh, that is pretty good. It's already looking ominous for the rest if Red Bull are that far ahead. More points for uh, Piastri because uh, we keep putting Piastri in the car. We we're going to develop Oscar Piastri into a decent little driver and you all know we are. Another four and a half million in the kitty. I'd say if we keep uh, earning money like that, it's only going to go one way. And that is up. So there we have it. A good result for the boys. Another 14 points in the bag. And we head to uh, Albert Park for, uh, you say difficult race, but I say not so difficult. I say good race. I, I hope. Uh, good race I, I would say good race anyway see you have high confidence in me but then you call, call it a difficult race so could you make your mind up there it'd be nice if you made up your uh, your mind that would be uh, that would be fantastic anyway that is going to be it folks so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed if you did leave a like Subscribe if you haven't already done so. I'm back tomorrow with F122 with the uh, Saudi Arabian Grand Prix there. Let's see what uh, Jackie can do around uh, the Jeddah Kanish circuit. We're back on Friday with the Australian Grand Prix. So in the meantime, stay safe, be kind to each other, you can't be kind, correct. No place in the world you can't be kind to people. See you tomorrow for F122 and see you on Friday for F1 Manager 22, Australian Grand Prix, folks.